Hello everyone! Linux Mint 18.1 KDE with Plasma 5.8 is finally released. Unfortunately, the previous release with Plasma 5.6 was not very successful. Many users reported it to freeze randomly and it did not feel as stable as Linux Mint should be. Has Plasma 5.8 changed the situation? Let's find out! I am an average Linux user and I make videos about how to install, set up and use Linux. If you are interested in Linux, subscribe to this channel that you don't miss my next videos. The major change in Linux Mint 18.1 KDE is definitely Plasma 5.8. It is a very stable version of Plasma and it is also a long term support version. It was released in September 2016 and it is going to be supported for 18 months. Clearly, it was very right choice of the Linux Mint team to upgrade its distribution to Plasma 5.8. However, there were some challenges during this process. Clem, the Linux Mint team leader, even had to ask users to help to test Plasma 5.8 using Kubuntu backports. And as he pointed out, it was the Kubuntu team who made Plasma 5.8 possible in Linux Mint. Some naysayers picked up on this pretty quickly and started claiming that the Linux Mint KDE edition is a waste of developers' time and it should be abandoned as no one is using Linux Mint KDE. But it's not true. I use it and many other users do, and I think it's one of the greatest KDE distributions. I had very great experience with Linux Mint 13 and 17 KDE edition, and I still run Linux Mint 17 with KDE 4 as my production machine, and I believe that Linux Mint 18 will be the same, if not better. I'm not going to stop on what is new in Plasma 5.8. There is a lot of information on this already. The major point is probably that it is way more stable than all previous versions of Plasma 5. And this is great. I would like to express my opinion why Linux Mint 18.1 KDE has the right to be among the top KDE distributions. First, it's very good distribution for new users. The website is very easy to navigate and users are given all the essential information including some possible problems they can face with this distribution. The set of Linux Mint tools is just so great. The update manager is very simple, light and extremely stable. When you open it, it immediately provides you some essential steps to configure it. You can make a choice on how stable and how updated you wanna be. The update manager also helps to set up the fastest mirror for updates. Kernel management is also very user friendly. Even in an experienced user can understand it. The software manager is light and reliable. Yes, its interface is not attractive and probably this is the first thing that needs to be modernized in Linux Mint. But it works and works well. The driver manager is another asset of Linux Mint. It always picks up needed drivers and there is no hassle with installing drivers in this distribution. There is also a very simple app to set up firewall. Backup tool is very uncomplicated application to perform backups. The format USB stick is another great tool provided by Linux Mint for those who are not very familiar with the command line. Open as a root option in Dolphin is enabled. Also I believe it's not very good practice to run a graphical application as a root, but many new users prefer this way. All the codecs and non-free packages can be installed during the installation process. There is almost nothing to do after installing Linux Mint. You can start using it immediately. I have been using this system since yesterday when it was released and it feels very promising. Definitely more stable than the previous version with Plasma 5.6. It's not as fast as Arch Linux, which is my main home system, but Linux Mint has never been the fastest. I like Linux Mint for its reliability and ease of use. It is the system I would install on my main production machine, where I just need a system that works and doesn't need much maintenance. Currently it's Linux Mint 17.3 with KDE 4. But after more testing, I might replace it with Linux Mint 18.1 KDE with Plasma 5.8. Please leave a comment about what you think about Linux Mint KDE with Plasma 5.8. Can Linux Mint KDE be great again?